Sup guys, let's do this. <laughs> What's up guys? Cloudy back again with a new reaction. This time we have 10 band kid shows. No, 10 band kid shows episodes. Kids, kids show episodes. Man, that was tough to say. <laughs> 10 band kids show episodes. Okay, this was suggested by and he thought I would check it out. So let's. Ugh. Okay. Like many of the collaborations between Steven Spielberg's Amblin Entertainment and Warner Brothers, uh -huh. Tiny Toon Adventures was widely known for its cutting humor and offering something for both kids and adults alike. However, they took it a bit too far in the episode One Beer, where three characters drink alcohol, steal a car, and then crash off a mountain and die. Weirdly, though, <sighs> it wasn't the content of the episode which was objected to, as okay. much as the melodramatic plot which network executives feared could turn serious issues like underage drinking and peer pressure into a joke. Okay. The Disney series Gargoyles ran for three seasons and was known for not patronizing its audience and tackling tough issues. However, okay. the first season episode Deadly Force took things a step too far when it tackled gun violence. In one scene, okay. one of the heroes of the show is shown lying in a pool of her own blood something which Disney itself eventually censored, removing the episode from circulation before reintroducing it with all the blood taken out. Oh, really? In the UK, not only were a couple of episodes of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles banned for their portrayal of violence, the whole show was digitally altered in order to fit the government's crusade against violent images in kids' TV. Uh-huh! Strangely, this meant the show being digitally altered to remove nunchucks, and the name being changed from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Hero! Yeah, I've heard about that. A of episodes from the English language version of Sailor Moon which have never been shown on television. Most are banned due to foul language or implied nudity, which is often seen in Japanese manga. Yeah. But some of these episodes are banned due to the depiction of the relationships between Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. In the English dub, Wh the two what? characters are described as being cousins. But in actuality, they're lovers. Meaning that any episode that shows really? them as such had to be pulled from broadcast. What? In the episode Rude Removal, Boy genius Dexter creates a machine which removes all of the rudeness from his irritating sister, Dee Dee. Huh? By the time he gets to use the machine, something goes wrong, and they are both split into two versions of themselves, perfect polite kids and bizarro versions which swear like troopers. Although the swearing is dubbed out, the quality of the lip syncing and Cartoon Network shows meant that it was pretty easy to work out what they were saying, meaning that the episode was banned before it ever aired in the US. Oh. With most states in America featuring their own regional broadcast networks, it is not often countries, huh. but states which ban certain material which they find objectionable. This was the case in Mississippi in 1970 when the state legislature elected to ban Sesame Street. Really? Yes, Sesame Street, a show for preschoolers. Why? Because among the puppets was an integrated cast of both black and white people. That was a massive no-no for the southern state, where segregation really? was very much the watchword. One source of the panel who made the decision stated, we're just not ready for it yet. Wow. Ren and Stimpy often courted controversy uh, uh, throughout this, run in the early 90s. I can't understand Ren and Stimpy, though. Extreme violence and disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> really funny shit, I remember Ren and Stimpy. Adult audience rather than kids. And it all came to a head with the episode Man's Best Friend, in which Ren, the psychotic chihuahua, viciously beats a recurring character. The episode was banned by Nickelodeon for more than 10 years uh -huh. and led to the creator of the series, John Kripalusi, being fired for making a kid's show too frightening and dramatic. Really? Not all kids' shows are banned for objectionable content. One episode of Pokemon, which was already an incredibly popular cartoon before the game was even released, was uh, banned for something much stranger. Yeah, the In an episode where Ash and his friends go inside a computer to help a trapped Porygon, it was the flashing red and blue light used in the episode which yeah. saw it banned. 12,000 Japanese viewers experienced yeah. symptoms from nausea to seizures and even temporary blindness. Pokemon really? Shock, as it was dubbed in the media, was temporary, but of the 600 people admitted to the hospital, Two ended up having to stay for more than two weeks. Wow! Different episodes of The Simpsons have huh. been banned in so many countries, so many times, and for so many reasons huh. that it would be nearly impossible to tell you about them all. <laughs> While British Channel Sky One banned the episode The Cartridge Family, where Homer buys a gun, Russia banned the whole show in 2008 because it promotes violence, cruelty, antisocial behavior, and the infliction of physical and ethical suffering. Mm. Strangely, 
The show was also banned by Venezuelan leader Hugo Chavez in 2008, where really? he claimed it was unsuitable for children, replacing it with Baywatch, of all things. Another Simpsons, show with more huh? bands than you can shake a stick at. The Looney Tunes has the problem really? of being incredibly old. Many of its themes, uh, characters, and whole episodes come across uh, as politically incorrect to a modern audience. Yeah. And some, such as the 1944 episode Bugs Bunny Nips the Nips, in which Bugs Bunny taunts a Japanese soldier, are seen as downright racist for their stereotypical uh, portrayal of other races. Well, that and happens with older Gonzalez cartoons. Was removed from Cartoon Network in 1999, with the network reportedly uncomfortable with a stereotypical depiction of Mexico. However, the League of United Latin American Citizens campaigned and had him reinstated, citing him as a positive cultural icon. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I'm, I'm, um, it's like... Thoughts. Yeah, this was weird. Uh... I mean, I can understand it to a certain point. Uh, I mean, if we're talking about old, old cartoons, like old Disney cartoons, or super racist as well. If you just take a really close, uh, a, cl a closer look to them, they portray um, Asians, uh, black people, like fucking everybody's <laughs> taking shots. Basically, if you take a look at really old um, Walt Disney. Uh, cartoons some of these i didn't know I, i've heard about the pokemon thing that it gave gave kids seizures or like epileptic spasms of some sort i don't know why i haven't seen the episode myself so i didn't know that i i, I haven't seen that i mean the whole um um sailor moon thing didn't know about that either but uh when i was growing up uh, the Ninja Turtles were called uh, Hero Turtles here in Europe. I remember that. Uh, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Yeah. So maybe we got the British version then. Not the American one, at least. Uh, yeah. Well, interesting. Uh, thank you for the suggestion. This was pretty cool. Um... Like, subscribe if you haven't. I would gladly appreciate it. Um, leave a comment below if you want. And let me know what you think. Um, see you guys in the next one.